Yo, it's your boy Prince Ryan, aka Randy Santana, also known as Russell Eastbrook, and I'm here with Get You Lit Media. Um, I'm Prince Ryan. I'm a YouTuber, actor, entertainer, all around. Um, and I'm just, just a lit dude, man. Just, you know what I'm saying? I like to have fun. All right, so I'm not gonna lie to y'all, bro. A lot of people have been saying I look like Russell Westbrook since I was like in like the eighth grade, bro. So like I, I was just like, bro, like it's just funny as I didn't. I don't think I look like him. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just make this a joke and just jack that Russell Westbrook, my cousin. So like I'll randomly go up to people in public and just be like, yo, you know Russell Westbrook? They'd be like, yeah, like that's my cousin. So that's not really my cousin, but it's my fifth cousin, fifteenth cousin on my sister's side. No, I'm fucking around. <laughs> Prince Run. All right. So originally, um, when I first like had the idea that I wanted to start YouTube, the name was Fresh Prince Run. I used to have like a flat top, like literally an '80s flat top, and I was just like, Nah, this name is too long. Like I don't like it. As far as the name Red, um, my real name, I'm not even gonna say what it is, but I hate it. I hate my name, and I always wanted something cool. So I remember watching Straight Straight Outta Compton. Um, I was watching Straight Outta Compton. And I know that there was one of the artists was MC Ren. Me and MC Ren have the same name. Um, and I was just like, yo, that's just not cool. Like, I'm gonna just have people call me Ren. Prince Ren um, was eventually like when I changed my YouTube name later on, early in my career. Um, I know, like, I felt like everybody had the name King. Everybody's King this, King that, King, King, King. But I was just like, nah, like, I don't wanna be a king, I wanna be a prince. The prince is young forever. You know what I mean? They 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 don't have the responsibilities of king. The prince just do whatever he want, and when he gets away, he gets away with it just due to the simple fact that he's a prince. So that's how I felt. I want to be Prince Ren. Um, I'm originally uh, born, lived half of my life in Jersey City, um, and then I moved to Central Jersey. So yeah, Franklin Township. Shout out to Franklin. You know what I'm saying? Even though y'all wasn't jacking me at first, but it's all good. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, my boys was playing ball. They was talking shit to each other. And I'm just like, yo, these niggas are hilarious. Like, let me just record this. I just got my first iPhone. And I'm just like, bro, let me just do it. Um, edit it on my PlayStation because I ain't have no laptop and no editing software. Just do it on YouTube. And I'm like, bro, this is fun. So I'm like, you know, let me just keep doing this. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I could blow up. And I'm not going to lie, that video was terrible. The quality was just like... It was bad, bro. I mean, editing on the PlayStation is crazy, bro. So, I upload the video, people laughing in school, and they're like, bro, you want to be a YouTuber? You want It is crazy, bro. But, yeah, that's how it originally started. Um, For the most part, people just summarize my content as, like, pranks. So, I do pranks. I consider myself just a natural troll. Like, I just be walking around and just say some stupid shit to somebody I don't even know. Like, like I said, Russell Westbrook is my cousin, or... You know, um, did you do you want a free BBL? Go to this store, like you know what I'm saying, like bro, shit like that. It's just mad random, and I was always that type of dude. So it's like, it was like, yo, I'm a prankster, I'm a troll. But eventually, I want to expand on to other things that you don't see, especially a lot of black creators do. Um, I want to, I want to turn my channel into like a TV show, like I'm talking like drop a million dollars on one video type shit. Like that's how I'm really, what I'm really aiming for. But right now, I'm just working my way up, just doing the typical stuff. You know what I mean, pranks. So the funniest thing about that, um, originally when I first started, when I first started watching YouTube, I used to watch pranks with my dad. Um, I used to watch like the older like YouTubers back in the day do the wild pranks, like somebody would dress up like a terrorist and like you know, I don't know, throw like a bag on a bus and then act like it's about to explode. Like I used to watch that. So me seeing that and said, okay, I have to do pranks too, but what can I do to be different? So like there was a time I'm not gonna lie, like I used to copy other pranks that I've seen on YouTube. But now, like, I'm on that type of thing where it's like, okay, how can I be original? Nobody wants to see the same thing over and over and over again because I'm not going to stand out like that. So I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll, you know, go on my phone, make us a whole list of things that I want to do and add, like, a, a plot, I guess you could say, script to it so that I know in my head this is what I'm aiming for. I don't know if I really answered that question right. You said, wait, what was the question again? Okay, yeah. So I literally come up with all my ideas. Like I, I just come up with it. I take inspiration from a few other content creators. Um, 
Gideon, of course, Baylor Levine. Uh, I used to take, uh, you know, kind of copy some ideas from Pretty Boy Fredo. Um, but yeah, overall, I just take whatever I watched in the past and try to make my own version of it because that's what I like. Qualities of a content creator getting on YouTube, yo, you need patience because, man, this is a grind, bro. It, it, there's times you'll have videos where, like, the audio is messed up. There are times I'll spend, like, $100 on a video and the audio is chopped. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to lie. I work a regular job, too. Like, YouTube is not my full-time thing. So, like, $100 for me when I work, like, a 9-to-5 job is just like, bro, like, are you serious? But you need patience. You need consistency for a fact and you need you can't have a hard head like you really have to sit down and learn you know there's people that will literally have less subs than you and still teach you something that you didn't know before like you really have to have an open mind and, and understand like okay my quality has to get up i have to put money into this you know that that's really what it is i, I say patience is probably the most important and yeah you also have to be yourself too don't Get up there and try to be someone that you're not, cause that's it's gonna it's gonna feel like a job after that. You know what I mean? Break down the Rolling Loud video. Funniest thing about that, right? Cause I did want to go to Rolling Loud, but I saw the ticket price and I'm like, I can't afford that. Cause I have to pay for mine and the cameraman. Like nah. But then my man, shout out to my boy Reezy, bro. He was just like, yo, I'm about to put you on. I'm like, what's up? He's like, bro, I got you some free Rolling Loud tickets, bro. I said, word. I said, stop playing, bro, because I was, was going to just try to sneak in there completely and act like, you know what I'm saying? He was like, bro, I got you for one, you and your cameraman. I said, bet, bro. I had no clue what I was going to do. I'm not even going to lie. Like, I'm like, at this point, I already got the free tickets. Like, So, like, what's the point of trying to sneak in? Like, Because I don't fake my videos. That's one thing I'm going to say. I do not fake my videos. I don't script it. All this shit is real. Um, make a long story short. We get to rolling out. I'm like, no, fuck it. I'm going to be fake security. So literally that morning, I bought a fake security vest. I'm like, I'm going to go in there and just try to get free food. Tell people they need a wristband. If they don't got one, they need to leave. If I see someone sneaking in, I'm going to tell them they got to go. Like, bro, like that, bro. So I went in there. At first, I didn't want to lie to you off the rip when they saw my jacket. Like, they was like, yo, like, where's your wristband? But then I walked up to a cop. He thought I was actually security. You'll see it in the video, too. And then... I mean, I had the free wristband, so I was going to get in anyway. But once I got in there, like, I was telling people, yo, where's your wristband? Like, like, bro, y'all can't be doing that. So people would literally stop and show me the wristband. I told this one guy, like, yo, like, your wristband is fake, bro. He started panicking. I was like, yo, I got to call my boss. Like, that's basically what I was, I was doing my thing, trolling, vibing with the crowd. You know what I'm saying? That's that's really, uh, most of the time, that's what I do. I go with the vibe of what's going on at the moment. Um, that's all it really was with that. Bro, running with Kai and that, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. That shit is the most random thing ever. Like, the funny, it's funny how it works, right? Because right before I ran into Kai and that, I was filming a video called Picking Up Girls with Buzz Not Really Average. That wasn't the actual title, but that was the plot of what I had. So I'll go up to people, like, I'll go up to girls and dudes, whatever, like, not picking up dudes, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. But I'm saying, like, I'll walk up to people and rap Buzz Not Really Average as Kai and that song and act like it's mine. And people was just like, yo, like, it's all right, it's not bad. So then one of my, we walking in Miami because it's spring break, everybody outside. We walking, and I kid you not, one of my boys, he's like, yo, that's Kai Sinat. I'm like, bro, there's no way Kai Sinat nearby, and I'm doing this video. Like, it's crazy coincidence. I look, bro, this shit, bro. First of all, I just want to say, Kai Sinat, probably he's like 5'4", bro. Like, he's like 5'4". I see the big chain, 5'4", dude. I'm like, oh, nah. So, like, I see, like, my man's getting his gear ready to interview him. I'm like, hell no. I tell my cameraman, come on, we walking over. We just going to say anything, right? I woke up to him. I'm like, yo, like, I want to rap this track, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was pulling my Kanye shit. Like, I only walk up to a rapper and just be like, yo, can you co-sign me? So I was like, yo, Kai, I'm going to spit something for you real quick. He's like, all right, bet. So I hit him with the bust down roll, the avalanche. Yeah, my old bitch, something. But I put it like this. I messed up the lyrics just off the rip. And he was like, whoa, you f***ing up the lyrics, bro. And at that point, I just felt stupid. I'm like, damn, like, bro, I forgot the camera was even on me. I was like, oh, f***ing correct me real quick. And then, you know what I'm saying? He rapped the lyrics. That was it. But then, this is the most important thing, because, like, this this just really showed his personality. And I, I gained a lot of respect for him for this. Because 
when I continued the video after my reaction interaction with him, he seen me. I'm 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 finishing up the video with a girl. I'm telling I'm rapping the lyrics. She's like, oh, this sounds familiar. I heard this before. I kid you not. This dude came out of nowhere. This is like 30 minutes after I had my first interaction. He came out of nowhere, walked in my video, and goes, yo, you picking up girls with my song? Now, a lot of people thought that that was a skit, but I looked at it like this. He saw what I was doing. He saw the content, and the fact that he walked in knowing that him walking into my video, that could get views, and I, I respected that, because as a content creator, like he, he knows that his name is gonna bring views to the video, so. Shout out to Kai, bro. A lot of people thought that was scripted, but bro, Dev was just watching my shit and ran in and, you know what I'm saying, interacted with my video. But shout out to Kai, bro. Yeah. You're gonna work one day, bro. Daily routine. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. I just go to work, um, edit, you know what I'm saying? Chill with my girl, chill with my boys for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Plot ideas for like an hour or two, you know, literally make a list of like the idea and how i'm gonna run it down take a nap and then go to work that's literally all i do you know what i'm saying um i hang out with my family here and there but i ain't gonna lie i don't really be having time to hang out like that like it's just work content work content work content work content and that's it you know what i mean some major challenge bro there is no such thing as some there's a lot is I'm gonna be honest with you. What's been bothering me lately, um, not just lately, just in general, is the people, you know, the other content creators. And it might sound crazy, but yeah, I think like where I'm from. I don't know if you guys watching this from other states, but I'm from Jersey. And the thing is with Jersey, it's like a lot of people are in competition. Like, like you look at New York, right? You look at New York, you look at Florida, you look at Cali, Georgia, um, Texas. And it's like, they have a community of everything where it's like, you got the YouTubers working out, working with the rappers and things like that. And it's like, everybody's just like a unit. Even bro, I even consider New York, right? Mad people got ops, right? But I look at it like this. Even the ops put each other on with the other ops. You diss that in the track, he gonna have a comeback. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's like, with Jersey, we don't have that because it's like, everybody just wants to be, you know, the best at this. Oh, you don't got enough subs. Oh, you don't got enough clout. Ah, oh, no, nah, I can't do this. And they start moving crazy. So that's that's my biggest, you know, problem and, and, and thing that I'm facing right now. It's like finding people that I can really work with. And I'm not saying you got to work with everybody, but it's just, I want to find consistent people that I can say, okay, you on your grind. I'm on my grind too. Let's get it popping. Like, you know what I'm saying? But that's really what it is for the most part. Um, this might sound crazy, and this might be like fucked up, but I I always have to always have this mindset where I know one day I'm gonna die. We're all gonna die one day, and I don't want to be an old man laying in the bed on my deathbed saying, "Yo, I didn't even at least try." So what keeps me motivated is like I know I have time. I know that there's always a chance if I keep going. The only possible way that I can fail is if I quit. You know what I'm saying? Also, on top of that, I'm not going to lie to you, seeing other content creators, like, you know, I want to say, throw a few names out, Jadeon, like, I remember I watched the interview, and he was just like, bro, like, you just got to trust the process, you know, he talked about how he was door dashing at one point, just to make money so that he could pay off cameramen for his video, and I was literally doing the same exact thing, so I just know how that feels, um, another, another inspiration, Pretty Boy Fredo, when I first um, he's seen him hit a million subs. He was talking about his personal issues and I like I see I see all these people and I feel like I can relate to them So I'm like, you know what? I could do it too. If they could do it, I could do it. They're just regular people at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Fun fact about me mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie. I'm lit on and off camera like and what I mean by that is like my personality is just like I just I just do whatever like I just like the Joker said in a dark night I just do things so like I, I just just a, a person that you can talk to, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm, you know, even minus the funny shit, like, I'm the type of person where I can really listen. You know, if you got something going on, I'm willing to hear you out and help you out as much as you can, as long as you help yourself, too. So that's really what it is. I'm not a party dude, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of people think I'm, like, oh, like a party dude, and I'm always at, like, nah, I'm not, I'm not like that. I'm just more of a laid-back, you know, funny guy. You know what I mean? It depends. 
So like, if it's just somebody in my comments, like saying, oh, you know, you think this was funny, this and this and that, I don't respond. Honestly, when I, and when I do respond, I just clap back. Like, I want some like, oh, that's nice. I maybe show your mom the video or some shit like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I'll do it because I'll just be bored. Uh, but if it's like constructive criticism, uh, I listen to it. You know, if, especially when it's someone that I actually know. I take a moment, listen to it, see what they're talking about. If I agree with it, you know, then I'll just like apply it to what, the, I'll take what they said, apply it to my work, and at the same time, do what I would want to do at the same time. Um, I don't know if that made sense, but I know what I was trying to say. Um, yeah, that's, that's that's for the most part. I just, you know what I'm saying? I'll at least listen to it, you know. The thoughts on the New Jersey content creator scene? There's not that many of us that are actually grinding. Um, I see a few people, I'm not gonna lie, I look at them and I'm like, yo, like, I, and even some of the rappers, I look at them and I'm like, yo, they doing their thing, like, all you need is a platform. We lack, we lack, I don't think Jersey lacks support, that's the biggest thing that people say, Jersey lacks support, we don't have enough support, but I feel like that's cap. I think we lack leaders. A lot of our content creators aren't really leaders, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, they either half ass the work, or they just have that mindset where it's like they're bigger than they really are. Like me myself as a small content creator, I know for a fact that I'm not. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, they, they, it, there's at the end of the day, I'm still a regular person. You know, you got a few people that I look at like uh, shout out to um my boy Matt Ten, um just a little bit of Ben Ten suit. This guy's crazy. Uh, Kill So South, he he, I consider him a content creator even though he's a DJ. Um. Is this is a few people out there to do anything, but we need more people. We need more leaders in Jersey. Two is a company, three is a crowd, four and five are damn, that's a good question. Four is the boss, four is the boss, and what I mean by the boss is the owner of the company. And five, hmm, five, five of the people that are just minding their business. Oh, I didn't know, man. You tell me with numbers and shit. I didn't know the answer was supposed to be a number. I thought this was like some deep f***ing riddle. Like, <laughs> man, you got me looking stupid, right? <laughs> Damn. Right, bro. I want to make a shift in my content again. I'm still going to be the troll. I don't make it a little deeper so that I stand out. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I don't wanna talk, get specific with it, because I don't want nobody taking my idea. I've had that happen before. Um, but it, it, it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be a lot of, it's gonna be things that you haven't seen. I'm gonna say, specifically small content creators do. And it's gonna be like, whoa, some of this stuff is dangerous, I'm not gonna lie. It's not just pranks, it's, it's you know, just, just, just crazy things like, holy shit. Like, I, like I said, I'm trying to turn my channel into a TV show. I want you feeling like you're watching something on the History Channel or National Geographic, like, you know, Bear Grylls, things like that. Um, it's going it's to be big. It's going to be big. You know, I want to work with some creators, too. Um, creators that I've watched, you know, in the past. That's that's what's going to happen. It is going to happen. No, no way for of butts. And I'm also, I will say this. I'm going to get that video with Russell Westbrook. I almost had it. I om Look, I almost had it. Almost had it, but it's it's one of those things where it's like I know it's bound to happen, and, and I'm, I'm working on. Bro, crazy. Shit. So I'm the type of person like even like minus the content creation shit, I'm good with social media um, management things like that. I know how to uh, uh, get in contact with people with booking and all of that because I actually went to school for it, um, and I joined programs that actually helped me. You know, get it on the, on on the professional. And before I used to just do it on my own. But then, yeah. So I'm like, okay. I'm like, how can I get into contact with Russell Westbrook? Russell Westbrook is my second favorite player of all time. A lot of people don't know that. Favorite player is Carmelo Anthony. But you know, Russ, that's my dog. You know what I'm saying? Second, people say I look like him. Carmelo about to retire, so Russell will be my favorite player. How can I get in contact with this guy? How can I get him in a video? If Jadeon could get DeMarcus Cousins in a video, I could get Russell Westbrook. So I said, okay, I gotta get in contact with somebody he knows. I thought, okay, he got a brother. Let me hit up his brother. 
Hit up his brother, no response on Instagram, no response. But I look at something his brother posted, and it was the company, it was the Westbrook clothing brand. So I'm like, oh, wait, what if I contact these people and say, yo, like, what if we work out something where it's like, oh, you know, I, I get it, I talk to Westbrook, you know, we, we promote the brand and et cetera. We could get uh, Russ interacting with the YouTube community so that his clothing brand can expand. Now, you know, his brand called Honor the Gift could be like the standard designer for YouTubers. That was the original idea. So I hit up his clothing brand and I was surprised when he responded. And bro, I even got the DMs, bro. And, you know, I told them about the whole thing. People say I look like Russ. I showed them my custom. Oh, let me see if y'all get this, bro. I showed them the custom Russell Eastbrook jersey. My jersey says Eastbrook. I don't know if y'all can see this because that's what people call me. So, Russell Eastbrook. I showed that to them. And I gave them a whole... I gave them a whole idea. And they responded. It was like, yo, like... They sent me a whole paragraph. It was like, yo, we like this idea. You look just like Russ. Like, bro, we gonna have to go with this. Like, this, you know, they was like, but... They said the only thing is... You got to go through like a PR team and his agent has to approve it and all this other stuff because they have to have, the, you know, the NBA players got to have a good look. So I'm like, they was like, they're going to get back to me. I'm like, man, that's some bullshit. Like, I was hyped, but I'm like, damn, I was like, all right, so can you get me in contact with the agent? Because like, I know how this shit works. Like, they can get me in contact with the agent. They was like, we're going to let you know because we have a lot of, you know, requests and we also have uh, uh, a, a, a launch for, you know, his brand, which was true. And I'm like, all right, bet. Hit them up, like, you know what I'm saying, a few weeks later. And they said, unfortunately, it's going to take a long time. So I'm like, Fuck, man. And I'm like, you know what? It's all good. So I'm like, damn, right? And I just, it's going to be a long story. It's crazy, right? I want to say, like, a month later, a few weeks later, Kyrie Irving pulled up the jersey, right? Because he got some event. So I'm like, you know what? I got to get Kyrie in the video somehow. If I get Kyrie, I know how to get to Westbrook. Somehow, right? Post a picture. I, I run to Kyrie. Just told him, yo, Russell Westbrook, my cousin, yo. Yo, bro, you else with Kyrie did not give a f Like, he just looked at me and looked away and took the picture. So I'm like, all right, as long as I got my picture, I'm good. So I posted the picture holding my Eastbrook jersey, and I tagged Westbrook on my story, right? Bro, I was about to delete that story, but something told me to look. Bro, this watch my story, bro. With the Eastbrook, when I'm holding the Eastbrook jersey. So I'm like, bro, What? You couldn't even DM me back? I bet. So I got my mans. I, I, I can't talk about how it's going to work out next, but this video is coming, y'all. It's coming real soon. So, yeah, it's just, I don't want to get into detail how but it's going to work. And speaking on breaking down videos, let's also break down that Ice Spice video. Oh, Yeah, I'm not going to lie. That was probably the only video that I've ever made where I caught hate on the spot. Where it was like, Anyway, make a long story short. Um, one thing about my videos is I like to capitalize off of current events. Um, and I know Ice Spice is a trending thing right now. Everybody's posting her and like, oh, a butt fat, all this other shit, right? So I'm like, bro, how can I do some funny shit? I'm gonna do a prank. It's back to school. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna just buy a wig. Like, everybody making fun of the, the wig that she got. You know what I'm saying? After So I'm gonna cop one off of Amazon and I'm gonna blast her, sound, her song in a lecture hall, right? Um, you know, I mean, I did it. Put on the wig. Everybody in the class, like, you got people laughing. The professor was getting tight, you know. And I'm just like, oh, shit, my bad. I'm making a TikTok. Bro, I kid you not. I want to say, like, five minutes after I leave the class and finish the prank, bro, there was people walking up to me saying, yo, that shit was funny as hell. I kid you not. I checked my Instagram. Somebody from that class DM'd me. It was like, yo, you were in my class. That shit was funny. The group chat is pissed right now. And I'm like, what? Like, they're like, yo, they're coming crazy. Like, oh, uh, uh, he's stupid. He don't make no money off of YouTube. I'm like, first of all, how the f did y'all find my page? Second of all, bro, 90% of your class was laughing. It was just that small handful in that group chat that was pissed for I don't know what. I didn't say anything to them. I didn't bother them. I was like, you know what I'm saying? I'll do harmless praying. They were tight about that. So then I was like, you know what? It's all good. Um, there's this one kid, a few people talking in the chat, and I'm like, yo, you know what? Give me their names. So I got their names, and I made a post on Instagram. I'm like, you know what, yo? Since y'all want to hate, I said, DM me on Instagram. And if you DM me, I will pay your tuition 
when I blow up. They didn't DM me, but you know, a few, a lot of people from that class DM me. A lot of people walked up to me. He was like, yo, you're that guy that was in that class. That shit was funny. I gained a few subs off of that. Cause people were like, yo, that was tough. From that class, I'm like, bro, why are they getting mad? But yeah, I, I would dead pay the tuition too when I blow up. Like, I promise you I would. Just to say I did it. <laughs> So my greatest achievement um, was being able to learn that, okay, like, there's more to it than just picking up a camera and putting it online. Like, no, there's, there's an algorithm, there's math to it, there's consistency, there's quality. And the fact that I was able to even, like, come from editing to a PlayStation on an iPhone to having a camera, MacBook, you know, pro editing software. Like, the fact that I was able to take all that little stuff and, and, and put it all in one take everybody's advice and throw my own, you know, input into it and, you know, at least improve whether it's, you know, where I, even though I'm not where I want to be at, the fact that I was even able to improve is a W achievement. You know what I'm saying? Because I know if I can improve once, I could do it again and again and again and again. Um, yeah. Also, the fact that I got to meet a few, um, I interacted with a lot of content creators that I looked up to and, and, and you know, it was it was pretty cool. In fact, I never thought that I would be, even be able to do that. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Um, and I'm gonna take this video and I'm gonna clip it. Yo, I'm gonna say this again. I'm going to be one of the biggest black black. I'm gonna just be one of the biggest creators of all time, bro. I'm gonna take this to Hollywood. Like I'm gonna be an actor, all of that. I'm gonna go crazy, bro. Y'all gonna see me in an MCU or DC movie. Like that, and for Jersey, bro, Jersey, we gotta step our game up, bro. We need more leaders. We don't need, we don't lack support. We lack leaders. We need more grinders, people that's willing to get up when they don't want to get up. Like, you know what I'm saying? We all gotta sit down and say, yo, bro, like, we had so many chances, but we fumbled it. That's what we really gotta do. And also, if you're, if you wanna be a content creator, you know, a rapper, any, anything like that, you know, just do it. Don't hesitate. Don't say, oh, I'm gonna wait until this and this and that. Just do it and f what everybody gotta say, bro. People are gonna laugh at you. Like, people have laughed at me. People are gonna laugh at you. People are gonna say you're clout chasing. People are gonna say this, people are gonna say that. But at the end of the day, if you know your goal and if you see the tunnel, bro, just go through it. Just go through it. Keep going. Save your money too.